Hi, I'm Jackie Jackson with Cash Flow Your Life Real Estate Investor Training. Want to make an extra $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 on demand every single month by being a real estate investor? If that's you, then you need Cash Flow Your Life, all right? So today I'm out at a property and I was walking by and I had to stop and write this big fat check because this house right here is an opportunity a gold mine waiting for the right investor and i'll show you why all right have you ever heard of the term driving for dollars well today i wasn't driving i was walking but it's the same concept nonetheless now what you're looking for when you're driving for dollars are telltale signs that a house is actually vacant. So the strategy I'm going to teach you today is based off of vacant houses, all right? So this house here is vacant, and I'm gonna show you how you can determine if a house is actually vacant and be able to cash big checks off of vacant houses, all right? So that's cash flow your life, 10,000 to 20,000 to 30,000 dollars every single month off of vacant real estate properties right in your neighborhood sitting right under your nose opportunity that you're not taking advantage of because you don't know what to do with it so I'm going to show you how to find these properties and take advantage of them so one of the first things that you can do when you are looking for vacant properties is drive around neighborhoods just like this on garbage day crazy right and i'm going to tell you why follow me so today is garbage day for this neighborhood every working class person puts out their trash prior to the night before so the garbage man can get it in the morning in the afternoons the day of garbage day guess what People are coming home, they're dragging in their trash cans back into their garage or at the side of the house or something. And you can see who put their trash out and who didn't put their trash out. This house right here, guess what? Nobody put their trash out. The can is not at the edge of the sidewalk at the end of the driveway. That's a clear indicator that there's no one living here because no one put out the trash. The second indicator is the height of the grass. You can see that here, this grass has not been cut in a really, really, really long time. If you look at the neighborhood, everybody else cuts their grass. That's the norm. So when you see a house that has high grass just like this, you know that there's no one living here loving on this house loving on this property and it has gone abandoned so that's the second indicator that you're looking at a vacant house right so the first one is the trash can is not out no one's taking out the trash the second one is high grass all right follow me the next indicator here is actually the raised blinds now you might say jackie what are you talking about raised blinds Raised blinds means that someone has recently moved out. They may raise the blinds for security purposes. Why? Because whoever owns this house may be or is taking care of it now, they don't want squatters to move in. They don't want anybody moving in unauthorized who's not supposed to be in the house so they are going to raise and open the windows open up the blinds therefore if the neighbors in this neighborhood see that there are individuals in there or there's flashlights or any type of lighting they're going to question it because they realize that the blinds were up so if the blinds go down, that means that somebody moved in and is trying to screen their windows for privacy. So that is number three. Number four, another telltale sign that something's happening with a house is a lockbox. If you take a look at the front door, there's a lockbox on there with a code, which 
normally includes the key on the inside. That may be a lockbox that's placed on there by the owner, or it may be a lockbox placed on there by a real estate agent or an investor or somebody like that, okay? So that's a clear indicator that something is gone awry or something special is happening with this house, fair enough? Now the next indicator, number five, you also wanna take a look at the roof. The roof of every property will tell you if someone is paying attention to the wear and tear of a house and how the house actually looks on the exterior. Now this roof, I can tell, has some wear and tear on it and it looks like it's the original roof. So I can tell that this house here, just by the shingles alone, you have some missing shingles, you have shingles that are lifting, and then the granules on the shingles itself are actually pretty, pretty uh, low, all right? So that means like um, that roof looks very weathered. It looks very weathered. It needs a replacement on that roof and that roof needs to be painted the second thing that i look for uh, actually what's that we're up to number five number six number six i actually look for the paint when a house needs to be painted it becomes like the exterior becomes chalky when you can rub your hands on the exterior of a house and the chalk comes off on your hands that means that that house has not been painted in a while what that means to you is that there is delayed maintenance on the property and if there's delayed maintenance on the property there may be some financial troubles by the owner and that's the reason why they haven't painted they haven't done the roof they haven't um what's uh they haven't uh, mowed the lawn they haven't taken care of the property something's abnormal so you want to pay attention when you see properties just like this now we drive past properties like this all the time but because we're listening to music we're having a good time in our car we're on the phone we're engulfed with our own thoughts and where we're gonna go wherever our destination is all of these opportunities are passing us by what you need to do is drive around with a pen and a paper and make sure that you write down addresses all right so if you are driving and you see a house that has these elements and these conditions one of the things you can do is write down the address now if you don't have a pen and paper you can use your smartphone or your device your mobile device and do a voice note to yourself and write down the address of that property once you have the address of that property then you can do your research and your due diligence and find out who owns this property and send them a letter send them a letter and make them an offer let them know that you would be interested in making an offer on this property and helping them out of their situation that you buy houses as is in any condition they don't have to do absolutely anything you'll buy this house just the way it is okay that is one strategy to get the deal so that you can make ten thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars thirty thousand dollars on demand every single month is just driving your neighborhoods in your local area and looking for vacant houses and contacting the owner so that you can make them an offer now if you are looking for a way to maximize these skills understand these strategies and techniques what to say to owners what to say to buyers how do you make offers how much offer do you make what do what kind of offer do you make you need to learn how to cash flow your life through real estate investor training with the jackie jackson go to the jackie jackson Dot com and schedule your free strategy session with me yours truly and then we can talk about how I can help you understand how you can become a real estate investor through cash flow your life